even when a baseball field is empty. It's still alive. The tastes, sounds, and dreams of the home team. Here at Crossler Field in Salem, the empty stands and overgrown weeds mean the Sprague Little League team's dream is coming true. They're in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, in the Little League World Series. This is pretty exciting for Salem, Oregon, you know. <laughs> For the home crowd. We're just here to support the team, you know. This is the next best thing to being in the stands. A watch party at the B2 Tap House and Brewery in Salem. The pressure's on, you know. It's like, I don't know how they can do it, actually. They're only, you know, 11 and 12 years old. Like half the team are like my classmates I know, and it's kind of fun to watch them on TV. Elena Salvo played with these guys for years until she switched over to softball. They're just honestly really good kids. Sprague Little League is a huge community and, and family and um, we're super excited for, for them. On this day, the kids from Salem are playing the kids from New Jersey, a scrappy team and high stakes. Many here know exactly what that feels like. I remember being there just like that, not at Williamsport, but going for it and it's fun. It's, it's fun. Win or lose, it's going to be fun for them. It'll be something they'll remember forever. In the end, it was 6-2 New Jersey and heads and hopes high in Salem. For them to just stay focused and, um, you know, stay positive, I think that's huge. Today's loss to New Jersey doesn't mean Sprague will be returning home here to Crosler Field quite yet. This is a double elimination tournament. They'll play to stay in it tomorrow when they take on East Bank Little League from Louisiana. In Salem, Katherine Cook, KGW News.